Yeah, we've got some integrated storylines already right from the beginning. This is just awesome. I'll explain more about the history as we go along as well. Excuse me, sir. Did you see the victory? Is there something wrong with your hearing, Cano? No, sir. It's just that I... The TCS victory is a fine carrier with a long history of service to the Confederation. Yes, sir. A very long history, sir. Ship assignments aren't open to debate, Colonel. Of course, I realize that the accommodations may not be what you're quite used to. Well, sir, I didn't mean to suggest that the victory will benefit greatly from having a wing commander of your stature and experience. Thank you, sir. But can't we at least discuss the... Now that we have the Kilrathi on the run in both the Gardell and Morpheus systems, I can afford to shift you to the victory in Orsini. What I'm trying to tell you, Carl, is that things are looking up. The Confederation has been making some very positive strides. Dismissed. Sir, by my request. Yes. But it came as a bit of a surprise to me. As you know, Colonel Devereaux's status is on a need-to-know basis. Your shuttle is waiting. Yes, sir. One thing you'll notice about Colonel Blair right from the beginning is he's very, very, very loyal to his higher-ups, if you will. He's the admiral and the captain of the ship he's about to go on. Despite recent losses in several densely populated sectors, Confederation spokespeople insist that humanity maintains the upper hand in its galactic struggle with the Karathi. However, our sources document a consistent underreporting of Karathi incursions, as well as civilian and industrial losses. There are even reports of Confed plans for a doomsday evacuation of Earth, replanting the seeds of humanity in the distant galaxy. The question is, who would go? Who would be left behind? And most importantly, who is making these decisions? Kind of makes you think, doesn't it, viewers? If, there's a, if this were to actually happen and we had to evacuate the Earth, how would we decide all that information. It's, this game really makes you think, actually. I think, too, anyway. And we're about to uh, land aboard the TCS Victory, which is going to be our home base for the game. And here we are landing. Again, I apologize for the choppy... The choppy frame rate, viewers. I apologize. I'm working on trying to get it fixed. Welcome to the TCS Victory, Colonel. Thank you, Captain. Better known as Tin Can Sally. It warms my heart to see you again, Colonel. But I must excuse myself now, as your duty here takes precedence over our catching up on old times. Thank you, Hobbs. We'll talk later. I know what you're thinking. She's no Concordia. Oh, neither is the Concordia anymore. Yeah. Terrible loss. My sympathies. However, you're in my home now. And I'll expect you to wipe your feet every time you come in. <laughs> I've been with the Victory most of my career. I was communications officer during a maiden voyage. Well, sir, I'll admit I wasn't looking forward to the assignment, but... I see you have a pilot who's finding this Roganar Hollis on your crew. Oh, yours. yes, he's my second in command. He's not flying? At his request. I know all about his exploits with you, Colonel. But here, no one will fly with a Karathi on his wing. What about his exemplary record? That must stand for something. It was his request. <sighs> Captain Nyson, I'm not going to tell you how to run your ship. I am going to insist that Hobbs is reinstated to the flight roster immediately. 
Well, that's admirable, Colonel, but uh, who... I will, sir. I'll fly with him. He's the best wingman I've ever had. Hmm. So we have a Kilravi person on our team. That's kind of interesting. Okay, well that wraps up the introduction to this game. Uh, one other thing, I'll just give you a brief background history of the game and then we'll call it a day. Um, we are set in the very, very distant future. And basically what we've got here is we've got a human race fighting against an intergalactic war against a race of very primitive and savage cats known as the Kilrathi. And we're going to learn and we've been battling them for the first two wing commander games and I'll talk more about the history as we go along throughout the game. But know that I'm very excited about this Let's Play series. I hope it's going to work out. Um, viewers leave some comments if you think this is going to work or it's not going to work. But I just want you to know that I'm very excited about bringing this to you and I think that we are going to have a great time together going through this game. But until the first mission, this is BCS Buster signing off. Take care y'all.